Right, quite a delay there because I've been hunting through my stock for the buck converter. I grabbed that and I think that's the opposite. I think that's uh, whatever you put in ends up at 5 volts going out. LM2596, I'll have to look that up. But I think that one... I think that one might be a boost to 5 volts, whereas this little fella is what I was looking for. Searched upstairs and eventually found it downstairs. Mini 360. Okay. In at that end, out at that end, and there is a little trimmer there. I might have to wire it up. Oh, let's get that in focus so you can see it a bit closer. I don't know what Mini 360 stands for. That's what I remember with this one. You can adjust what comes out. <laughs> so I might just temporarily wire that up and see what we can do with it. A little demonstration of this little module, uh, buck converter, I believe it's called. I'm going to use a 3S battery, which is about 12 volts. In fact, we can measure it. That one's going to measure the output. That one's going to measure the input. Right, 6.4 volts output, and at the moment, can you see that? No, oh, that wire's in the way, isn't it? There we are, that's a bit better. 6.4 output and 11.8 input. Now, this isn't the right tool for the job, but it will work. Just to demonstrate, if I turn that trimmer, so we can go up or down. So what we want now, instead of using a 12 volt input, we're talking about using two of these at about eight volts and see what I can rig up so we can try that. Right, I've now rigged up a temporary little battery box for two of these 14500s. So we should be getting about 8 volts out of them. Well look at that, 8.06. Okay, so we'll now plug them into this one. I'm getting 6.36 on the output. So that should do what we want. I mean, I could trim it a little bit more, but I think 6.36 is probably all right. Just a little bit above the 6 volts. So I'll go ahead and try and sort out the battery box in there. I've got some terminals or tags, or whatever you want to call them, recovered from another uh, car. So hopefully there'll be enough there to do what we need to do. I'll see if I can restore it to how it should be, so it's actually got enough terminals in there for four batteries. So it can still be run on ordinary double A's. It would be easy just to put the nu enough terminals in there just for the two batteries. But as I say, I'll do it so it can have the four batteries in there. And then we'll see how it gets on with that. I don't even know if we can run this car. Um, whether I've got a transmitter that will actually match it or not. So we'll find out when we've done all this. 
worst case, we have to take that receiver out and uh, put something else in there. Nice shiny new springs contacts. So, one of them, one of my dummies, another one of my dummies, and another one of them. So, that way, that way, that way, that way. Yeah, that's it. So we've now got eight volts in there and the dummies are just straight through. Just while I've got this apart, we'll have a quick look at the receiver. That's labeled RX6, ATS306R, RABA22BA. Okay, anything else interesting on there? Those four will be the H bridge for the drive motor. And those four, three. Must be, another, oh, there's the fourth one underneath the wires. Those four will be the H bridge. Come on, focus. H bridge for the steering motor. That's a bit better. Focus. Sorry, it's shaky. Handheld. Yeah, those four smaller transistors are the steering H bridge, and the ones in my fingers there are the transistors for the drive motor. Interestingly enough, you can just see up on the top right there, it says M3 plus and M3 minus. And there's a load of missing components there, so obviously this board could drive a third motor. I suspect what's happened is that's been used for this board here, which is the sound board, I think. Sound effects. And they just added it on the end there. Right. I'm going a little bit complicated here. Let's try and refocus. Right, here we are. So I've added a JST connector there across the battery terminals. So instead of going straight to the board, they go into that connector first. And then to get to the board, I've got another JST connector there, which goes down to the on off switch and to the board. So we can connect the board to the battery that way. But what I'm doing over here somewhere is rigging up this buck converter so it can go in between. So if we want to use it with the 14500 batteries, we can use this to drop the voltage back down to 6 volts. So it's getting a little bit complicated. But... That's what we've done. I could encapsulate that in a nice big bit of shrink down um, tubing just to keep it safe. But the idea is we can put that in the middle. So when we don't need it, it's not there. And when we do need it, we plug it in. And while I was working there, a couple of these wires fell off anyway, so I've resoldered them. I don't think there's anything particularly interesting on the back of the board here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when we put it back together. Well, guys, this has all gone wrong. A bit disappointing, really. Went and got my box full of 27 megahertz receivers. found the right one for the car, or at least when I say the right one, I was looking at the previous video I did on this car, and although it looks like the right one, it isn't quite. 
Um, in the video I showed the steering's the wrong way around. Nothing you can't fix by shifting a couple of wires around. But, um, yeah. It's got fresh battery in it. But, come on, focus. But it doesn't work. All my effort of uh, doing our clever little voltage dropper to get the right voltage to feed it, and it's not interested. It is switched on. In fact, I'll put the camera back on the tripod and I'll show you some measurements. Right, can we see that meter? Yes, we can. Put it on voltage. Right, I can do it without getting my hands in the way of the meter so you can still see it. That's our positive. That's our negative. 6.3 volts, I think you can see that. Oh, that's a bit better. So yeah, we're getting 6.3 volts all the way through to the board. But after that, it don't work. And I don't know why not. There's no obviously burnt out chips or anything. And in the old video, it was working. So I'm at a bit of a loss. None of my other cars work to this transmitter so I can't confirm it with a different car confirm that it's actually working and I put a fresh battery in it to make absolutely sure it's a funny old controller this one forwards and backwards is tilt the steering wheel forwards and backwards. Can't imagine how they thought that was a good idea of doing it. And then left and right is left and right. And then we've got turbo and voice. And in the previous video, um, I can't remember how many years ago it was, but there'll be a link in the video description to the playlist with this car in it. Um, yeah, in the previous video it worked. You could get the voice to work. Um, but absolutely nothing's happening. Well, I say absolutely nothing. Um, I can make the voice work. With a bit of uh, cheating here. Yeah, so voltage is getting through to there all right. I am confused. So, yeah, bit a bit disappointing or a grinding halt to be exact because we ain't going to go any further can't demonstrate it going can't demonstrate that my uh, buck converter is doing the job for us thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.